look what I found. It's a Susan B. Anthony dollar coin. She was a leader who fought for rights for women and African Americans. What was life like when Susan B. Anthony was growing up? Susan B. Anthony was born on February 15, 1820, near Adams, Massachusetts. She grew up in a Quaker family. The Quakers are members of a Christian group that lives simply and peacefully and believes in equal rights. Susan loved to learn and did well in school. But a teacher refused to teach her a math lesson just because she was a girl. At the time, boys and girls were not taught the same things in school. Well, during the 1800s, people were not always treated equally. Women were paid much less than men and weren't allowed to do certain jobs. Many African Americans were forced into slavery and were mistreated. African Americans and women were not allowed to vote, and many could not own property, like land or houses. What did Susan B. Anthony do? As a teenager, Susan spoke out against slavery. She collected the names of people who wanted to abolish or end slavery. When she was older, she warned people about alcohol abuse and made speeches about temperance. Temperance is the act of drinking little or no alcohol. In 1865, slavery was finally abolished. But African Americans and women still did not have the same rights as white men. Susan B. Anthony Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Frederick Douglass, and other people came together to fight for the rights of all people. They demanded suffrage, or the right to vote. Susan B. Anthony and other suffragists traveled the country and made speeches. Then, in 1870, African American men got the right to vote for government leaders. But women were still not allowed to vote. How did Susan B. Anthony fight for women's suffrage? During the 1872 presidential election, Susan B. Anthony cast her ballot. She claimed that voting was a right for all citizens. Two weeks later, she was arrested for voting. She was fined $100, which she refused to pay. Throughout the rest of her life, Susan B. Anthony wrote articles and gave speeches about women's rights. Many people did not agree with her and called her names, but she didn't let anyone stop her. By 1900, a few states had given women the right to vote. Susan B. Anthony died in 1906, before all women were allowed to vote. After her death, people all over the country continued to fight for women's suffrage. Then, in 1920, the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution passed. Women got the right to vote for their leaders. They called the amendment the Susan B. Anthony Amendment. Today, we honor her memory in different ways. Hey!